Over the course of the party conference season, we're asking newly elected MPs to have their say on the issues of the day. Today, it's a turn of Labour's Thelma Walker, who overturned a 5,000 Conservative majority in Cone Valley. And Thelma is honest, honest enough to admit that she's surprised she won. I'm Thelma Walker, MP for Cone Valley near Huddersfield. I won at the, uh, the election um, on June the 9th. It was um, a big surprise, uh, certainly for the constituency. Um, and on that night, I can remember thinking that my predecessor had had a majority of 5,400 votes. I, I got a majority now of 900 votes, so it was a massive swing. The manifesto, one of the main reasons it was popular, were the promises about nationalisation, which on the doorstep, again, talking to constituents, were really popular about a national education service, about renationalising the railways. <laughs> Labour was about a managed immigration policy uh, and about looking at um, areas throughout the country um, where um, increased immigration was causing pressure on public services and looking at funding for those particular areas and addressing, addressing the issue. But I think as far as um, people who voted for Brexit, I would say um, that they need to accept that we do need immigration um, and, you know, obviously controlled immigration, but there's a skills base in our country that is needed. In terms of staffing in our hospitals, um, it's clear from current data that there's been a massive drop in applications from Europe. I think it obviously needs to be phased. It's not something where we can, we can just drop off this cliff edge. We need to think about the process. We need to think about partnerships with Europe. We need to think about that diploma, diplomatic language. We can have a successful outcome for um, employment, um, for environmental laws, um, but we do need as MPs representing our constituents to have a voice in that future legislation. No, we didn't win. If you have the right policies, if you have authenticity, if you have a politician that is um, sincere, then you can win. I mean, I've proved that. <laughs> 